last time on Out Chasing Stars, we took a ride on the most beautiful train in the world in order to get down to the gorgeous tea fields of Sri Lanka. There were plantations to tour, tea to drink, and my first high tea experience to cap it all off. We'd seen a lot of Sri Lanka, but there was one thing left to do. We are ready for our last adventure in Sri Lanka. We are at Wilpatu National Park, which is the largest national park in Sri Lanka. And we are staying with Leopard Trails and we are doing a three night, six safari expedition around the park. And as you can guess from the name, we are looking for leopards. Yeah, uh, there's a nice sign here that uh, makes those leopards seem a little creepy. <laughs> Watching you. Oh no. Oh. For our first excursion, we were the only guests in the truck, and we told our guide, Krishan, that we had one thing on our minds, find a leopard. Well, that didn't take long to find the first leopard, did it? No, not long. <clears throat> She's just sleeping in the bush. It's very quiet. Yeah. All right, babe, what's going on now? We are very patiently waiting for Mrs. Leopard to wake up. And she's uh, not cooperating so much, huh? No, but we've gotten to see her kind of like roll around and stretch. Granted, she's like in the bush, but still, it's pretty cool. And there's a possibility there's a cub in there. We're not yeah, there sure. Yeah, might be a baby. So we're hoping as it gets later that she'll wake up and walk around. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say right now it'd be pretty funny if she walks the wrong way. Yeah, but we'll try anyways. All right, final update, what just happened? Well, she got up and she walked away, but it was not quite in the direction we'd hoped. A little bit away from us, we as I predicted, <clears throat> silly leopard. We saw a little bit of leopard. A little jerky camera shot, but it, it counts, yeah? It counts. We were feeling pretty lucky to have seen a leopard so quickly, but Krishan knew we could do better. So off, deeper into the park we went. Walking away. Bye bye, leopard. We saw a second leopard today. A two for day? Two for day. Very lucky day. Nice. And this <coughs> one was an open field? Yeah, he was not hiding in the leaves, so we could see him a lot better. And we're, uh, we're thinking he may pop out on the road, so we're. Exercising patience again. More patience. Once again, we were reminded that nature does things on its own schedule and with its own directions. The leopard decided heading deeper into the jungle was better than coming out for a close-up. The trucks have to be out of the park by 6.30, so that meant our first drive was over. We headed back to our camp and made sure to turn in early as we had a very early wake-up call the next morning. You, you don't look too wide awake over there yet, babe. <laughs> Would you like to uh, explain what time it is and what we're doing? It's 4.30 in the morning. I sound so sexy. <laughs> and uh, we're doing our second safari. So the goal is to get to the park as soon as possible because the nocturnal animals might still be out. So. 
Yeah, and also we can't quite get into the park yet, but we want to be first in line first so that when uh, it does open, we can zoom right in and not not get covered in dust. Yeah. And you know, just wake up Amy early because that's always fun. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Hi, <laughs> right, babe. Give me an update. How's it going this morning? It's good. We are uh -huh. at the entrance to the park which opens in about 10 minutes and we're second in line to get in so hopefully we will um, have an enjoyable view yeah not not too dusty hopefully <laughs> no hopefully not oh that's bounce bounce <laughs> Since we'd already seen leopards the day before, Krishan wanted to take us all the way to the center of the park, where lo and behold, another one was waiting for us. Guys, I will take your picture, okay? We might have a better look from the other side of the bin. Okay. We got our first leopard of the day, babe. Yeah. It's a good spot too, by the watering hole. Yeah, it's just running right between nicely done. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see him going and drinking. Posing for you. Mm. Leopard decided to disappear. Yeah, he was done drinking water apparently. Now he's in the bush. The sense of tension is palpable. Where did he go? <gasps> he is very good at camouflage. <clears throat> The leopards in Sri Lanka are the apex predators, so they're quite comfortable just lounging around on ground level. While we were waiting, other trucks had made their way into the park, and since everyone wants to see leopards, we quickly had company. That's when some other residents of the park decided to remind us that they were there too. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, man. Let's have a little morning report, babe. How's it going so far? Very good. We had an excellent leopard spotting, leopard spotting this morning. And, and, and who spotted that one? Yeah, we need to give full credit or credits due right there, babe. Yeah. Um, and let's see. We saw wild boars, lots of deer, a big crocodile. What else? Dancing male peacock. Oh, the dancing male peacock. That was cool. We got to see his front this time. Yeah, and uh, still got a little ways to go in the morning too, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, this is only safari number two of six. It's a pretty good sign <laughs> so far. Very good. During our morning drives, we got a mid-morning break for a rest and some refreshments. Once we were done, Krishan found the next of Sri Lanka's big three animals for us. <laughs> what elephants do is when they get closer to their end, they try and stay closer to a water body because it's a short distance from water as well as food. 
and then when most well, more than one elephant die in the same area and then you find a few bones people think that all elephants go to the same yeah, place same spot <laughs> hence the myth about the elephant graveyard that wrapped up another amazing drive and that afternoon the reptiles decided it was their turn to come out and play Between his brain and his upper jaw, he has a particular organ called a vermero nasal organ of a lemon stirs, Jacobson's organ. Right. And then he'll, he has a little fork at the edge of the tongue. So every time he sticks it out, he's collecting uh, particles out of the air and molecules. He'll roll his tongue back, put it in that particular organ, and it acts like a computer. So it will analyze data for him, anything to do with suitable mating partners, food opportunities, air temperature, in a 30 feet radius around him. the rest of our drives, we had other people with us. And for some reason, Krishan didn't want to make them get up quite as early as he made us. We weren't too upset about the relative sleep in, but it did lead to some interesting fashion choices. You have a new accessory today, babe. I do. It's really dry and dusty. So, Krishan gave me a face mask. It is, um, it's very sexy, I must say. And now uh, you look like you're about ready to do some surgery, yeah? Scalpel. Yeah. Look at the little one scratching himself like a dog. We were really enjoying our time in the park. But there was one animal of the big three we hadn't seen yet, and our time was winding down. But Krishan is a miracle worker, and on our second to last drive, we found the elusive sloth bear. out of the park but what did we just see a sloth bear a sloth bear that means we've hit all big three yeah yes we did Very good. <laughs> just for good measure another sloth bear made an appearance so of course we had to make a quick stop to admire this one was definitely photogenic and seemed to relish delaying our exit from the park to the very last minute Oh my god. Look at that. Uh, 
Brilliant. <sighs> okay, I got good shots. <laughs> yeah, it's good. We're good. <laughs> We're good, yeah. You well, you can't get through talk. anyways. Okay. Just yeah, go. No, you go away, please. We are on our last safari here. Our last of six, which has been great. And we've seen all of the big three. So we get a little bonus safari this morning. It's a short one. Elephants, leopards, locker, done. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, seen all the big three. So we are, uh, you know, just gonna have a casual little ride this morning. Yeah, the pressure's off. We're here to have fun now. <laughs> Our time in Wapatu was absolutely magical and the perfect way to end our land travel in Sri Lanka. Starry Horizons was calling for us though and we were excited to get back out to sea and sail to the Maldives. Hey y'all! Thanks for watching our final adventure in Sri Lanka. We had such a good time in Wapatu and we were so excited to see leopards out in the wild. Sri Lanka is, I think, the best place to see them. Up next, we have our video sailing to the Maldives. Very exciting, very gorgeous. Catch you guys later.